Countless champions have been crowned throughout the history of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But what about the underdogs, the dark horses, the decks that upon first glance make you question everything you thought you knew about the game? In this series, both MBT and myself will be showcasing some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s wackiest unsung heroes. Each episode will feature new decks, new strategies, and the results will be unpredictable. You've seen the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is the history of Jank. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. All right, I'm going to be real with you. Uh, I know the wheel is fun, but I don't think these two decks can beat anything but each other. Behold, Cloudian. Now, Cloudian is one of my favorite decks from when I was growing up. It was popular when I was about 12 years old. And at the time that my friends were trying to convince their parents to invest in a $3,000 Dark Arm Dragon Core, I was rocking this. A list full of rares and lower. And getting my ass beat by players who had convinced their parents to shell out $3,000 for a dad core. The Cloudians are a very interesting series of monsters. At first glance, they seem extremely broken, but once you recognize the underlying metagame trends, it becomes clear very quickly why they are not very powerful. The core thrust of Cloudians is twofold. There are kind of two classes of them. One uses Cloudian Turbulence to spit out smoke balls for really powerful Synchro, Xyz, and Tribute summons, depending on what era of Yu-Gi-Oh you are playing in. But the ones that fascinated me are these three, Acid Cloud, Altus, and Zero Stratus. These monsters on normal summon add a fog counter to them for every Cloudian you control, and can remove two fog counters to do something. Zero is from itself to pop a monster. Acid is from itself to pop a spell trap. Altus is three from anywhere to discard a card out of your opponent's hand. The upside? None of them can be destroyed by battle, provided they're in face-up attack position. Now, they're, if they're in face-up defense position, they are immediately destroyed, uh, but that doesn't come up particularly often unless your opponent is playing something like no entry for the Gladiator Beast matchup. These cards are very, very cool, and as a result, I did my best to brew around them during their support periods in the Phantom Darkness and Light of Destruction, but unfortunately, I never had much success. I hope that I will be able to do something a little bit better here. Now, Let's go through the individual cards. First, we've got three Acid Cloud. On normal, it adds a fog counter to itself for every cloud in you control and can remove two to pop a spell trap. Autless, uh, on normal, adds a counter for every uh, cloud in you control and can remove three for a hand loop. And Zero Stratus, same deal, but two for a monster pop. Nimbus Man is like the win con of the deck, and he's easily accessible because he's got a thousand attack, but he sucks. You have to tribute any number of water monsters, and he gets one fog counter for each water monster that you tribute. You can get more fog counters on cards like this by using some Cloudian support cards, but they're generally very, very, very bad. Cloudian Storm Dragon is legacy support. It came out in Light of Destruction, if I recall correctly. Uh, Phantom Darkness was just when these debuted, so they didn't get the dark versions until the next set, which was light. Storm Dragon allows you to banish a Cloudian from your graveyard to some and it and once per turn puts a fog counter on a card you control. Absolutely mandatory at three. Mother Grizzly, of course, is very good. All these monsters are water. Sangan can search pretty much your entire deck, except for Zeradius Herald of Heaven, which searches the Sanctuary in the Sky. Now, these monsters have to stick at attack, so the way you don't die is landing either the Sanctuary in the Sky or Spirit Barrier. For spells, we're on three Cloudian Squall, fills up your entire field with fog counters. It's a two turn way to trigger Acid Cloud or Zero Stratus, one turn if you have a Storm Dragon, and hand loops for like four if you have an Atlas in hand. We've got a Vortex, a Mystical Space Typhoon, a Premature Burial, a Salvage, since they're all water, uh, three Sanctuary in the Sky, two by the Order of the Emperor. This was one of my first really ingenious texts as a kid. I was sorting through my bulk and I found these from an Emperor Strike structure deck that a friend had got and then immediately taken the Caiuses out of. They kind of synergize with the Cloudians. Uh, this card, of course, was meant to be played with Monarchs, but the Cloudians on Normal Summon have an effect that triggers. That effect doesn't really matter a lot if you're already off to the races. You more care about the Storm Dragons and the Squalls, so you can negate the effect that activates when they're Normal Summoned to draw a card. It also has applications against some other decks. If your opponent goes into a Mobius, for example, well, you might as well negate that and keep your back row. We've got one Mirror Force, Triple Solemn Judgment, Triple Spirit Barrier, and one Torrential Tribute. The side is just stuff I figured would be fine. Cyber Dragon Dragon is a generally good card, though semi-limited at this point in time. Uh, DD Crow potentially stops any graveyard shenanigans Alex is up to. Dimensional Fissure and Macrocosmos are 
banish cards and one monster reborn and three wave motion cannon which was pretty standard in cloudian lists as far as they existed at this time because you didn't really have a reliable win con and could substitute the problem by playing a card that kills your opponent in eight turns so that's the list super excited to show it off hope that i can do better than I did when I was 12. This has got to be one of the worst decks I have ever seen. That's not true, right? I mean, we've definitely played some worse stuff in this series, but if like you're going to play Crystal Beast, this probably isn't the way to do it. And sadly, like this is after like some revisions, like the lists that we were finding on Pojo were pretty bad. Like they were maxing out on like all of the bad cards. And I just don't think that's correct. So we took the most competent list we could find and we changed a few things around to make it like slightly better, but like not by much. So we're playing Crystal Beast today, ladies and gentlemen, for the history of Jank. The reason for this is because when we looked at our wheel that we were spinning in the previous episode after removing last episode's decks, the only two decks that were like bad enough to really go against each other were this deck and Cloudian, which of course Joseph is going to play. So we're going to do our best uh, because the other decks I think would have just steamrolled everything and this is a lot funnier of a matchup. So let's go and do the card by card. So if you don't know, all the Crystal Beasts have the ability that if they are face up and destroyed in the monster zone, you can place them face up in your spell and trap zone as a continuous spell instead of sending it to the graveyard. Now, there's a lot of cards that revolve around this interaction. This is their main gimmick. And then all of the Crystal Beasts have their own respective effect as well. Amber Mammoth makes it so that you can change the attack target to itself instead of a different card. Amethyst Cat can attack directly, but it does half battle damage. Cobalt Eagle is probably the worst. Once per turn, you can target a Crystal Beast and place it on top of your deck. I guess like you could maybe recycle something if you want to, but that just seems so bad. Uh, Emerald Tortoise is a 2k defender but also has a pretty bad effect because you can target a monster you control that attack this turn change it to defense i guess if you need a wall up that could maybe be relevant and then two ruby carbuncle this is one of if not the best crystal beast actually that's not true pegasus is the best but carbuncle second best because when it's special summon you can special summon as many crystal beast monsters from your spell and trap zone as possible onto your field so this is how you can then swarm the field and start to get away with a lot of stuff then we have sapphire pegasus which is far and away the best one because on summon no matter how it's summoned you can place a crystal beast monster from your hand deck or graveyard face up in your spell and trap zone so this pluses you on advantage which is nice sets you up for any of the other crystal beasts and it's 1800 attack what more could you ask for topaz tiger is also not bad he's probably like third best because when he attacks he gains 400 attack only a monster though so he goes up to 2k that's pretty respectable then we are playing one of the ugliest looking Yu-Gi-Oh cards i've ever seen in my life and a card i did not know existed prior to recording this video dragon queen of tragic endings this card cannot be normal summoned or set has to be special summoned by controlling three or more face-up continuous spells which all of the crystal beasts count as then when this attacking card inflicts battle damage to your opponent your opponent selects and sends a card from hand to grave and you draw a card and then the other part of the effect is during your standby if it's in the grave because it was sent from the field this turn you can send a continuous spell from your field to the grave to re-summon this card from the graveyard so that's actually kind of cool but i mean 1900 attack you need to have three things in your spell and trap zone. I'm not too optimistic that this is going to come up, but we'll see. And then we have the real reason we wanted to play this deck. If we're playing Crystal Beast in History of Jank, we have to play every single Jank card available to us, and that includes Haman, Lord of Striking Thunder. We already played Uriah Turbo in one episode, so of course we have to try to play every Sacred Beast imaginable, and Haman fits right at home in Crystal Beast. Now, similar to the other card here, we have to send three face of continuous spells we control to Grave, that does include the Crystal Beast. If it destroys an opponent's monster by battle, it inflicts a thousand damage to the opponent. And when this card in face-up defense position, monsters your opponent controls cannot target monsters for attacks, except for this one. So it is a bit of a wall, and if we're able to actually hit over things, it can deal some damage. It's also 4,000 attack, but we'll see if it actually comes up. Then we actually have some good cards in the form of Jinzo, Marshmallow, and Spirit Reaper, just trying to stall out so we can eventually win. And then we also have the other win con of this deck, which we are never going to summon, Rainbow Dragon. Now, when it comes to Rainbow Dragon, Rainbow Dragon specifically requires you to have seven Crystal Beasts with different names on your field or graveyard, which doesn't seem like a tall ask, but it's a lot of setup, right? Now, the thing is, if you were not playing Rainbow Dragon, which if you were thinking about playing this deck competitively, you shouldn't, you wouldn't have to play the bad Crystal Beasts like the Cobalt Eagle, like the Tortoise, like the Amethyst Cat, because you don't have to, you can just play the good ones, essentially. Now, Rainbow Dragon is crazy if you can actually summon it, because you can send all Crystal Beast monsters you control to the graveyard to have this card gain a thousand attack for each monster 
monster sent, and you can banish all Crystal Beast monster from grave, shuffle all cards on the field into the deck. That is an insane effect if you can pull it off. It's a decent payoff, but you have to jump through a lot of hoops to get there. Then we have the spells. Ancient City Rainbow Rune is one of the craziest field spells ever printed by like 2008 standards. It has five different effects that are active depending on the number of Crystal Beasts that are in your back row. The first is it can't be destroyed. The second is you can have battle damage you take once a turn. The third is that you can actually negate spells and traps by sending Crystal Beasts from your spell and trap to grave. The fourth is you get to draw two cards every turn. And the fifth is that once per turn, you can special summon a Crystal Beast from your spell and trap zone. If you're ever getting to five, you're probably just going to win the game. Crystal Abundance is another big blow up because you can send four of the Crystal Beasts in the spell and trap zone to grave to just destroy all cards on the field and then special summon as many Crystal Beast monsters from your grave as possible. So another big win con if you can actually pull it off. Beacon allows you to special a Crystal Beast if you have two in your back row. Crystal Blessing just takes two from your grave and puts them into your back row. Promise just straight up specials one from the back row. Tree gets counters every time you place them in the back row, and then you can send it to the grave to put more cards into your back row. And then we're just playing some other staples like Reborn, MST, and Swords. And Rare Value is, on the surface, looks like a very good card, but this card is bait because if you control two or more Crystal Beasts, your opponent chooses one to send to grave, which is very bad, but then you get to draw two cards. So the fact that this card says draw two is very alluring, but it definitely is bait. Trust me, this card is not that good. Then for the traps, Double D, Prison, Magic Cylinder, Mirror Force, and Torrential, so we'll at least have a few good cards in this deck. I gotta be honest, this is gonna be rough. Uh, Joseph's probably gonna just completely pile drive us with this deck because I don't have a lot of faith that we can take something down with this because it is not exactly the most competitively skewed. But we've done worse in history of jank, so I guess we'll have to see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Buddy, I don't know what the fuck we were thinking when we thought, hmm, let's put Crystal Beast versus Cloudians. That seems like a good idea, right? <laughs> yeah, these are two uh these are two doo-doo decks. Uh these this is not gonna go well. Uh but these were two decks no. that my brother and I actually owned. He owned Crystal Beast, I owned Cloudian, uh back during really? GX. Yeah, pretty much anything from any duelist pack that you could pick up for pennies, I would try and brew with. And uh let me just tell you we did not get very far with these two. These are Dog understandably water decks. understandably yeah one of my childhood friends growing up when i was uh still playing Yu-Gi-Oh before i went in hiatus uh actually played crystal beast and uh going up against like someone who actually wanted to try playing competitively you could probably imagine how that went right but i'm ready to get into it buddy i can't wait to see the outcome here because this is going to be some of the dumbest bullshit we've ever done and we've done a lot of dumb bullshit in this series so let's shout out the patron it is it's your boy treeborn frog <laughs> thank you for the support yeah boy buddy uh you gonna throw the hand up for me or you have a new randomization method no i got it i got the hand up okay i'm gonna go with odd dog <laughs> what's going on here <laughs> Yeah, it was odd. Uh, I threw up three, the amount of counters I need to do anything in this deck. All right. Uh, let's, at least we're not talking about aliens, but that's for another episode of Jank. Yeah, I'm sure. Jank. Let's that's go. going in history. Aliens is good. <laughs> I think we're well past aliens at that point, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, buddy. Good luck. Oh, Holy my God. I opened the this SPK. Is awful. Well, at least you opened better than I did. Okay, I'm just going to go to main phase one. This may surprise you that this may be the extent of my turn. Uh, I'm going to set and I'm going to pass. <laughs> okay, no problem. I'll draw for turn. Stand by main. Sure. All right, man. If you have heavy storm, it's actually ass. But if you don't have Heavy Storm, I win the entire game. Maybe I just won't commit. I'll just set two. Back to you. I was going to say, you have to remember who you're playing against, buddy. Yeah. Uh, I'll draw. Yep. Riveting. Actually just riveting. Wow, this card even sucks more than I thought it did. All right. Uh, even better. I will set one. <laughs> Throw it to you. <laughs> All right. I will normal summon Cloudian Acid Cloud. Okay, so you want to go ahead and walk us through what these do, because right. I know what about two of these cards do, and I'm sure the audience, actually, no, the audience probably already knows what every card does, but go ahead for the three of us that don't. Right, so the Cloudians are an interesting series of monster. They can't be destroyed by battle. They can be destroyed by card effect, and they can only be in face-up attack position. If they ever get changed to defense position for any reason, they die. And that's an effect that doesn't activate, so you can't even, like, do anything about it. Uh, so it's like Berserk Gorilla. Right. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. When you normal summon these cards, they add a number of fog counters to them equal to the number of Cloudians on the field. And this counts themselves. Okay. Um, now, Cloudian Acid Cloud is the only Cloudian I control. So I will be adding one fog counter to this card. Then I can remove two fog counters from this card specifically to pop a spell trap. However, I will not be doing that. 
I will be activating a little card that I teched into this back in the day by the Order of the Emperor. Okay. Now, this is uh, a throwback to the Dark Emperor structure deck. As you all know, the Dark Emperor structure deck is responsible for many meta warping cards like Caius, but none were as powerful as by the Order of the Emperor. Uh, <laughs> this card, when a monster effect is activated, <laughs> when a monster is normal summoned, allows you to negate it. Then the player who negated it draws a card. So I'll negate the cloud effect to add a counter, then I'll draw. Deciding how much further I want to go here. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, it's pretty sick, too. It's not a once per turn. It's not. No, you could just, like, draw your whole deck, provided you could normal summon a million times, which you can't do. All right, I'm going to flip summon Mother Grizzly, and we'll go on the offensive. Okay, uh, let's see what you got. I'm going to get into your set one here. This is my Marshmallow, so take a thousand, idiot. Sure, and I guess I'll just continue to take damage. Let's go here. Okay, this one is my Ruby Carbuncle, so I will be putting this uh, into my spell and trap zone. Oh, my God, I popped one. All right, I'll go to main two. Now that you have a monster in the back row, I feel a little more safe setting up. Holy shit, this card sucks. It has to be face up. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my God. Whoa, these are <laughs> terrible. Holy shit. I thought these were like not that bad, but wow, that's awful. Anyway, you may continue now that I read my card. All right, I'm just going to activate Cloudian Squall and then I'll okay. pass back to you. Sure. So during each of your standby phase, place a fog counter on every face up monster. That So that includes non Cloudians as well. It does. It will include your monsters too. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and draw here. Uh, I'll head on to main phase one. Yep. This is going quite well. Uh, I will go ahead and set myself a monster. Yep. I will set myself a back row, and I will pass the turn. Okay. Uh, we will go uh, to the draw phase. Stand by. I will trigger the effect of Cloudy and Squall. Sure. So everything's going to get a fog counter. Yes. Uh, we'll go to main one. I'm going to normal summon... Ooh, God. This is a hard one, actually. I'm going to normal summon Cloudian Zero Stratus. Okay. So this card, when normaled, uh, gets two counters on it uh, because I control two Cloudians. I will not be negating that effect. Then I will be activating the effect to destroy a monster you control. I'm going to go after the Marshmallow. No! All right. I don't want to die to, what, Mirror Force? So I'll MST your back row. I will chain my MST, I think. I don't know. I think you drawing cards is scary, so I'm actually going to get rid of your buy order. No problem. Uh, we will go to combat here. I'll attack with the Mother Grizzly. You thought you were getting through, Jesus you fool. Christ. All right, no big deal. <laughs> uh, God, how do I out this thing? All right, we'll go to main two. I'll just pass turn here. You just wait for Cloudy and Squall to put more cards. <laughs> Unfortunately, on. Cloudy and Squall does not target, so. We will go to main one. Uh, I still have, like, literally nothing I can do. This is a fantastic experience. Uh, I suppose I will set one and I will throw it to you. Draw for turn, stand by main. All right, so let's sure. go Cloudy and Squall here. Everything gets the fog. Okay, now I'll normal summon Cloudy and Altus. So Cloudian Altus on boy. normal gets a fog counter for every Cloudian I control. That's three. And the way that Altus differs from the rest of the Cloudians is he can remove counters from anywhere to trigger his effect. So I will activate right. his effect, removing three from himself to discard a card from your hand. Is it random? It is random. All right. Uh, okay. Let's re-roll. Okay. Let's re-roll. <laughs> God, it's not Snipe Hunter, man. Come on. <laughs> No reason to keep doing this. All right, how about this one? You got rid of the best card in my deck, my Rainbow <laughs> Dragon. Jesus Christ. All right, we'll take one off the Spirit Reaper and two off the Mother Grizzly next. Uh, All right. And we'll go for another card. Okay, that one. Okay, this is the second best <laughs> card in my deck and a card I have never seen in my entire life until today. Dragon Queen of Tragic Endings. Oh, what? Whoa! So this is... This, this card is something so you can just special summon it if you have three or more continuous spells right yeah and then when it does battle damage i get to rip a card or actually you get to send a card from your hand your choice and i get to draw a card then if it was sent to the grave from the field uh on a turn that it was sent i can then send a face-up continuous spell i control of the grave and special summon this back sick unfortunately I i'm just gonna go with all uh we'll go with a uh, mother grizzly here okay this is the carbuncle okay <laughs> which will not trick her yeah not a big deal i would just acid cloud it anyway so i could alt this one more time but i think i actually have to wait on the zero stratus <laughs> so <laughs> back to you all right uh can we get something good here that would be good if you didn't have like exactly acid cloud on the field so i will go to main phase one and uh try to figure out a way out of this because i don't think there is anything i can do <laughs> so you can cloudy and squall get your seer stratus up you can pop the reaper get in for a ton of damage uh that seems 
Like it makes the most sense to me. Well, buddy, I'm feeling lucky. I'm gonna go ahead and set three cards yeah. face down. Uh, you can't you can't take the Altus. All right, I'll draw. Stand by main. Uh, so we'll we we'll get your load counters. Up. Yep, load them up. All right, I will acid. We're gonna go for this one right here. Was Swords of Revealing Light, which you would have popped anyway. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go for zero. I'm gonna go for this one right here. Sure. So it goes. All right. Uh, I'm gonna no fear Shakespeare. We're just going to combat. Uh, thirteen. Sure. Take it. Fourteen. Sure. Five and nine. We're not dying yet. All right. That wasn't even half my life points. <laughs> no, it was not. Oh, it was it actually was just barely half. over half. Just slightly. All right, back to you. All right. Can we do it? Holy shit. No, we cannot. Uh, zero Stratus has to remove counters from it specifically. Yes. So if I reborn Spirit oh. Reaper, <laughs> I have time. <laughs> uh, yeah, technically that is the case. Uh, and then uh, you can just pop something again with Acid Cloud, which is frustrating. So I guess I'll just set one and pass. All right. Uh, stand by. We'll get all our guys. Okay. Main one. I will acid. I'm going to go for the new one. It was crystal blessing. Oh, okay. That's pretty good for you right here. Um, I, I, right. That's how I feel. I'm going to set one and back to you. We're going to draw, <laughs> you know, we got a monster. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Okay. <laughs> it's it's, we got something. We got something. We will activate, uh, actually probably the best card in our deck, Sapphire Pegasus, which we can take a crystal beast from hand deck or grave and put it in our continuous, uh, spell and trap zone That's here. All right. Crack. Spell and traps as a continuous spell. Uh, the problem is, does this do me any good? Probably not considering none of your stuff dies by battle. Well, the, hmm. the mother grizzly does. Uh, I mean, this would be pretty sick, but I don't really think there's much I can do in the face of your cloudy and overlords. Uh, so so I'm going to put another Pegasus into the zone. Oh, uh, last card is go. Crystal Blessing, let's which go. is sick. If I actually had a way to summon the fucking things from the from the spell and trap zone, so I'm just going to concede the first game. Oh you come on, that makes sense. That does make sense. All right, Cloudians take one down. Gee, who would have thought that the deck playing all the Crystal Beasts and every, like, brick known to man would lose in the face of Cloudians, of all things? I'm, You're I'm, saying I'm that like it's a foregone stunned. conclusion. <laughs> yeah, who would have thought that Crystal Beasts could stand up against Tier 0 meta threat, Cloudian? Dude, it's... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I mean, okay. my God. You're I will say... This hand looks slightly better than my last one, so we may be able to make something <laughs> my happen. My hand's okay, looking so, a little good, too. Good luck, buddy. We will see how it goes. I'm going to start by activating Crystal Tree. Ooh, okay, sure. So this card's kind of neat. Every time I place a Crystal Beast monster in the Spell and Trap Zone, I can put a counter on this card, and then I can send a number... Or, excuse me, I can send the Crystal Tree itself and take a number of Crystal Beast monsters from my deck equal to the counters on the card uh, that were summoned uh, when I sent that. So... Uh, since I did that, I'm going to follow that up with a Sapphire Pegasus. Sounds good. Crystal Tree was the expensive one of these cards uh, back in the day. Outside of the Pegasus, yes. which was, I believe, a uh, it was a maybe a secret in the actual uh, set. but it Ultra, was I an think. Ultra, yeah. Uh, it did get a tin print eventually, which was great. Um, yes, for sure. But every other card in this deck was literal pennies, with the exception of Crystal Tree, which was a super, and I remember spending $3 on in 2008. So with the Sapphire Pegasus, I think I'll just go ahead and grab myself a... A Topaz Tiger. I just want to get that in rotation. Topaz Tiger, not a terrible card. Not a great one, but uh, one of the very few playables. One of the few, uh, especially when all of your cards can be killed by battle, right? Mm -hmm. uh, next, I'm going to follow that up with a Rainbow Ruin. Card sick. This card is amazing. This, this is one of the craziest field spells I've ever seen uh, by like 2008 standards. Uh, mm -hmm. So while I have Crystal Beast in the spell and trap zone, uh, there is one of five effects that are active at any given moment. And so for right now, the Ancient City Rainbow Room just can't be killed by card effects, but that's good enough. Sure. Uh, I will go ahead and with that, I think I'm just going to pass my turn. Over to you, buddy. Stand by me. Uh, I am going to normal summon Cloudian Altus. Sure. So the Hand Ripper has returned. That's fine. All right, we'll get one counter. I'll set one back to you. Okay. So this is pretty good for you, considering uh, I can't just kill this in battle as much as I would like to. So I will go ahead and draw. Oh, that's like the best fucking draw on my deck. Uh, anything in standby or am I good? Nope, you're fine. Uh, we'll go to main phase one in that case. All right. So I think I'm going to go ahead and fire off this crystal tree here. Sure, that's fine. We're going to go ahead and with the tree, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a copy of... Really matter all that much. I just want to load up in all honesty. Uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a copy of this Cobalt Eagle. 
Yeah, just get the bad ones into rotation. And let's go ahead and fire off Crystal Beacon. I'm so sorry. I have MST. No! Why would you do this to me? I'm going to target oh. the Topaz Tiger. Crystal Beacon has Man. my favorite line of text of any card ever, which is... You must have two Crystal Beast cards yep. in your spell trap to activate and resolve this effect. Well, there goes the biggest neg on the planet. All right. Well, we tried. That was fun. Uh, we were going to be looking pretty good if we had those three Crystal Beasts. But, oh, I would go attack. I guess I could do damage to you, right? So, yeah, sure. I guess I'll hit you for five. I'll take it. Uh, second main, I guess I'll just set one and uh, go cry in a corner. Go ahead. All right, stand by main. Uh, I'm going to normal summon Acid Cloud. Okay, we've seen him before. Uh, I will activate... Ooh, do I care about your back row? Actually, I probably do. Uh, I'm thinking about if I want the back row or the Altus activation. They're both decent. You know, you can hit quality cards out of my hand, like uh, Rainbow Dragon and whatever yeah, the fuck that other card like was. A ton of bricks. I am going to try it. We'll go ahead and try it. Uh, let's see what we got. I'll take this one. So, buddy, this is why I'm very sad about that crystal beacon play, because we <laughs> almost got to summon Oman on your ass. All right, go ahead. Uh, uh, don't you have to remove three fog counters from the field, sir? Yep, two from the acid cloud, one from the altus. Oh, are Wasn't you getting, there are you two on book? acid and one on altus? Are you getting dueling booked? Uh, I have removed all fog counters from my field. Uh, well, it says that you still have one on acid cloud. Uh, I don't. <laughs> oh, perfect. Okay, so that's just dueling book fucking up. All right, so you have zero counters on the field currently. Okay, uh, at least we can clarify. So I will go ahead and draw in that case. Uh, we will go to main phase one, and I guess there's not much else we can do except go to battle. I will swing for 1,300. I'll take the 13. You know, this deck is playing ways to prevent this from happening. Uh, I will go to second main. I will, I guess, just pass the turn. All right, I'll draw for turn. Stand by main. Yep. I will normal summon Acid Cloud. Yes, that's fine. All right, we're going to get three here. Uh, okay. I will activate the effect, popping the Cobalt Eagle. No, my Eagle! Why are you doing this to me, man? I'll switch my Altus to defense here, destroying it. Sure. Then I'll banish the Altus for a Cloudian Storm Dragon. Ooh, okay, this card's pretty cool. With ignition effect priority, I'll activate Storm Dragon to put a counter on Acid Cloud, and then I will attempt to pop your Rainbow Ruins. <sighs> so mad <laughs> it's kind of sick right all right i'll send one sick. card back to you all right uh we'll draw yep. oh excellent that that is like right on time too holy crap that's awful well uh i will activate crystal blessing uh what does this do oh this well. puts two crystal beasts from my grave <laughs> onto the spell and trap yeah zone. that's fine that's that's okay for all the fucking good it's gonna do me but uh, i guess we're trying mm -hmm. uh i will activate another rainbow ruin all right. And I guess I <laughs> go to battle and we're hitting. All right. I'll take 13 again. Uh, in five turns, you're fucked, buddy. I'm going to set one. I will activate Storm Dragon. We'll put it on acid. Back to you. Go ahead and draw. So how many counters are you at now? Dueling book's broken for me. Uh, only my acid cloud has a counter and they only have one counter. <laughs> Each of them have one, correct? No, just just one total on the uh, on the. Oh, right okay. Board. So the one, the one is still broken then. Perfect. You know what? Let me try right. this. That works. All right. There okay, perfect. Yeah, geniuses over here. Okay. <laughs> uh, main phase one. That's actually pretty cool uh, if I actually, you know, knew how to play this deck properly. But, you know, it is how it is. I just read all these cards and think like, yeah, maybe there's something good here. No, that's not how this works. Uh, I guess we'll fire this. Let's fire Crystal Promise targeting my Topaz Tiger. That's fine. Okay, so this will allow me to move it from the Spell and Trap Zone to the main Monster Zone. And yep. I will attempt to go to battle here. No response. Uh, I am going to go... I guess we're just going to hit the acid clouds, right? So Pegasus in. Uh, I. Where are my cards that prevent me from dying? I'll take 15 and, and then 13. Yes. Uh, Topaz Tiger gains 400 attack when it specifically attacks a monster. So that's kind of sick. Uh, second main. I guess we're passing to you, buddy. Go ahead. Stand by main. Oh, that. All good. All right. So uh, first things first, I'm going to storm dragon this acid cloud. Man, this is, this is rough. I'm going to go for the back row here. <sighs> I was really hoping I'd be able to get you with that. But. Well, I mean, that that implies that I would ever attack. Uh, exactly. That's not. the problem. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me help you out here, buddy. If you just change everything to defense, you won't take damage. That is true. You're right. Uh, I think I have a play that's just a little better. Okay. Uh, I'm going to flip summon Sangan. I'm going to go to combat. I'll take six here, uh, and then I will trigger Sangan. Society of Sangan could get Zeradius Herald of Heaven. Oh, man. <laughs> 
uh, we'll just get uh, Cloudy and Zero Stratus. Second main, I'll normal the Zero Stratus. It'll get four mm -hmm. counters, and I'll wipe your board. It's not once per turn. That's sick. Not. All right. Well, at least these get to go to my spell and trap zone for once. So. All right. Uh, back to you, buddy. There's a card in my deck that is insane if I draw it right now. I don't think that's it. I have a play. It's very bad, but... <laughs> I think I am, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to normal summon Ruby Carbuncle. <laughs> I'm going to go to battle and crash uh, into your acid here. cloud. I oh, get it. Okay. I get it. Okay, so you're going to send this to your back row. Yeah, wait, that's fine. Yeah, that's completely fine. Yeah, so I'll hit acid. I'll take 200. Mm -hmm. Move this to the back row. <laughs> and we're past it. <laughs> All right. Stand by main. Sure. Uh, geez, this is rough. Uh, oh, geez. This is this yes, is a rough it, one. The Cloudian Crystal Beast match is a rough one. <laughs> Indeed it is. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to use Storm Dragon. I'm going to put a counter on the Acid Cloud. Uh, next, I'm going to Tribute Summon a Cyber Dragon. I'm going to go to combat here. One, two, three, four. I'm going to take five nine a thousand and then with the second effect of rainbow rune i'm gonna half your cyber dragon's damage so i'm gonna take 10 50 here second main i will set one and it is back to you i could have actually have the damage from the uh carbuncle hit too if i knew how to read cards all right uh i will go ahead and draw anything in standby no. okay so main one i am going to use the fourth effect of rainbow ruins here and i'm going to draw an additional card pretty crazy that uh that's on a Field spell, but no complaints. If you find him on, <sighs> I will activate Crystal Beacon. That's okay. I have no response to this. I will use the beacon, and we will special summon Ruby Carbuncle. Oh Christ! Yep. <laughs> That's. Fine. I will trigger the effect of Carbuncle to summon everything in my back row. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's okay. All right, so everything's going to the front row. Uh, I'll put this in defense. I guess we'll keep the eagle in attack, whatever. Yeah. Uh, this is going to trigger the Sapphire Pegasus because it is one of the few cards in the game that is on summon, which is kind of cool. Yep. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of... What other cards do I not want? Let's get rid of this, like, Emerald Tortoise, like, whatever. Uh, try to go to battle. That's fine. Eagle into Acid Cloud. Spirit Barrier. No! Oh, fuck. I don't even know if I've been out to this card. <laughs> You had it out. It was negate it with rainbow ruins. It was true, but, but you I saw already the had beacon a, in your eyes. I, I summoned everything out, and you have to special summon everything possible. You don't like get if to I pick. didn't, it's if so you bad. didn't, if you could pick anything, I would have just picked Pegasus and kept everything else in the back row just oh for that gosh. alone. Because I didn't need to summon everything. But all right, we're gonna see how well this game goes now. Uh, I will proceed to second main. Mm -hmm. I will set a card, and I will throw it to you. All right, stand by main. All good. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'll use Storm Dragon here. Uh, I'm going to put another counter on Acid Cloud. Sure. Um, we're going to use the effect of Acid Cloud. I'm going to eat the Emerald Tortoise. Emerald Tortoise is down. I will... I'm going to premature targeting Sangan. Okay. Anything at res? Nothing at res. Uh, I'll try and get into Cobalt Eagle. So you won't take any damage here because of Spirit Barrier. Do I care <laughs> about this? You get to search, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, I'll deprison this. Sure. Mm, that's fine. Well, uh, I guess we're just chilling. Back to you. I guess it's just the race as to who can uh, get their big idiot established first. Uh, main phase one. I'm going to put Carbuncle to attack. Right. We got to start doing this. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm actually going to put both of them to attack. Uh, go to battle. Mirror force me for five. God, I wish. Oh, could you imagine? Actually, it wouldn't even be good. Yeah. Take your It two. wouldn't even be good. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I'll take my two. Carbuncle goes. Uh, I'm going to do it again. Take another two here. Uh, I'm going to go. Let me think how I want to do this. <clears throat> uh, eagle into Sidra. And I'm going to have the battle damage here. So you take, what, 325? 375? Uh, th 350, 350? Yeah, it's just 350. Because yeah. it's 700. Yeah. Uh, Tiger in, I'll take five. Uh, I'll take one. You just take one, me. yeah. Yeah, because he gets the attack boost. And then Pegasus in, I'll take three. This is funny. Yeah, you get to draw an extra card and you get to uh, do the same board again. I mean, it's it's kind of cool. All right, it's kind of cool. Uh, I will go to second main. I'll just set one and throw it to you. Oh, all right. 
I'll draw for turn. That set card is something crazy. It's got to be. Could be like Morphing Jar. That would be nuts. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I will banish Acid Cloud. We'll go for Storm Dragon. Sure. I'm going to Storm and then Storm onto Zero, and then I'll pop your set monster. It was a Reaper. Ah, okay. Combat 21. Uh, am I dead here? I believe so. This is I am. 1150, 10, 10, 9, 5. Yeah, because it's 2K, 29, it's 34 from the little ones, and that's not even counting having off of Cyber Dragon, so... Yeah, buddy, Woo! you got it. <laughs> what the hell? Ow. I drew the best card in my deck, Let's but uh, it needs to inflict battle damage if I want to actually do anything with it. Oh, so, that's uh, hilarious. My plan uh, was just to try to just draw cards until I could uh, get to something to stop the spirit barrier since you're on such low <laughs> life, but you, I figured you had like a judgment in the back row or something. Yeah. So. Um, oh, excellent. Right on time. <laughs> Fucking rare value. Yeah! <laughs> woo <-hoo! laughs> Oh, my God. No, I, I think um, I think this game really showcased, you know, there are a lot of archetypes. Oh, wow. Jinzo would have been killer. Um, There are a lot. Of, Jinzo actually wins you the game, right? It, yep, it would have. Yep. Uh, there are a lot of archetypes. Um, Wait, that matters because I think you missed a draw of Rainbow Ruins on your last turn. Did I? I thought I drew last turn. Uh, no, because everything was still... Oh, because I could have done it in main two. Right, I thought it had to be main, main one. Phase. Oh, yep. I could have done it. Yeah, so... Eh. No, um, I think it, it really does go to show, like, despite the fact that uh, you, you lost this set, this last game was looking pretty touch and go. It was looking pretty competitive. Yeah. GX had a lot of really cool archetypes that played slow, grindy control games uh, that ended in these huge windmill slam cards like Crystal Abundance, like the five... Uh, Cloudian board with Spirit Barrier and Solemn Judgment up uh, that just didn't get the chance to ever impact anything because existing Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. was too good. You know, Special Summons were too prolific. Dad was too just everywhere. Uh, if the format was just a little slower, we could have been seeing some really interesting stuff represented on the show at top tables. But it wasn't, so nope, <laughs> neither because... of these decks ever did anything. <laughs> Because we have to remember, this is still during dad format, so good yep. fucking luck playing Crystal Beast when dad can nuke everything. <laughs> and, like, the whole goal of Cloudian is, like, yeah, you can play all these cards like Spirit Barrier, like Zeradius, like Sanctuary in the Sky to enable. Yep. You're never, or you're never destroyed monsters are never going to cost you life points. Your opponent's going to go, yeah, that's cool. Anyway, uh, dad target Acid Cloud, and you go, oh. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. That, that's basically how that goes. <laughs> I'm down to do a game three if you I'll want. Do it. I kind of want to try. Yeah. I want to get one off of you at the very yeah, least. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. I just want to get. I just want to get one game off of you. Just <laughs> if I can get one game, I will feel some sort oh. of just some sense of justice. I don't think that's gonna happen. I came very close last time, but. Simo, Simo, Simo. <sighs> You'll never be able to defeat the clouds. Look up in the sky and what do you see? You weather, baby. This hand is unbeatable. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to start with good old Crystal B Sapphire yeah, I, Pegasus. I, I don't care. Great Just start. Go off all the way. It doesn't matter. Fine, fine, fine. I mean, I'm going to try, <laughs> but I mean, for all the good it's going to fucking do. Okay. This is always so difficult, like making the decision, like what to place. Uh, like, because it's like Carbuckle's good, but if you don't have a bunch of monsters, Carbuckle just kind of sucks. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to go for another Sapphire Pegasus. Oh, God. That uh, because we can Crystal hand. Promise and yep. get this one to the field. Yep. And we can go ahead and activate that Pegasus and yep. actually uh, get another thing here. So no one's uh, on that's this pretty bad cool. Boy. Uh, nope, because, you know, gotta love GX, right? Uh, it's so bad that even though this effect is actually quite good, we don't get to see that happen. Uh, now I think I'm going to go ahead and actually get the Carbuncle. Uh, we're going to fire Rainbow Ruin. Sure. Uh, and then I'm going to set one and throw to you. All right, I will draw. Stand by yep. me. <laughs> All good. Alex, you fool. Your Rainbow Ruin can't be destroyed by battle and card effects. But how does it fare against game mechanics? Oh, no. Is this when field spells still destroy each other? Oh, oh yeah, buddy. Oh, man. Oh. Outplayed. Fine. All right, what are we doing next? That was kind of the extent of what I had planned. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to set one. Set one. Back to you, buddy. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, we'll draw. That's pretty bad because that card fucking sucks holy shit uh i guess we'll just keep on the offensive i will run out crystal beast amethyst cat this is the worst card in you're playing this <laughs> all right okay yeah let's we're go. playing rainbow dragon we have to play all of them <laughs> all right uh let's hit with pegasus first all right it is a mother grizzly all right go ahead and grab another grizzly uh i'm actually gonna grab i think
think the zero strat is here, but let me just decide. Oh, I could get Nimbus Man. I mean, it doesn't do anything, but like I could get Nimbus Man. I think I maybe just want to grab our biggest, most special boy. Really can't contest this board, unfortunately. Yeah, I'll grab our good friend. All right, the big boy is back. Uh, so we'll hit you for zero. So I actually don't know why I'm doing that because I'm thinking I could still do damage, but Sanctuary in the Sky is on the field. Uh, so then I will go and just attack you directly with Amethyst Cat, but you take yeah. half battle damage. <laughs> So Sanctuary is not Spirit Barrier, and uh, a fairy has to battle to not take damage, so I will take the six here. Uh, I've got you on the, like, 15 turn clock if you can't answer Amethyst, although your current board can, so. All right, I'm going to normal Sand game combat. Go Altus yep. into Amethyst. So I'm going to take 100, and this goes to the back row. And then Sangan into Sapphire Pegasus. You take uh, eight. All right because it is not a fairy. It is actually the opposite. Go to main two, and I'll grab uh, probably Zero Stratus. Acid Cloud seems kind of killer, too. Yeah, let's get Acid Cloud. Back to you. All right, can I please draw? Not that. That is not going to do it. Okay. Main one, uh, I'm going to fire Rare Value. Oh, God. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm deciding here. Hmm. I think you can send the carbuncle. Okay, shocker. Wouldn't have guessed that that was going to be the call here. This is the worst draw card yeah, I've I was, ever seen in my life. When this came out, it was like $30 because people saw yep. draw two and they were like, oh my God, draw two, that's crazy. Uh, it is the worst draw spell that any deck has yeah, ever tried to it play. Is, it is such a high rolly card. And it is like the, the times where this card actually comes up, like, I guess it did just come up for me. And will it matter? I, I will find we'll out, see. but yeah. I don't think it will. Uh, well, I can't do any battle damage to you. I can't overlay my Sapphire Pegasus, unfortunately. Nope. For a Lightning Chidori would actually be pretty sick right now, if I'm being honest, but mm -hmm. we cannot do it. Uh, I think I'm going to put my Sapphire Pegasi to defense. Interesting. And I will just pass on that. Because you want me to destroy them because all of your cards require two. Sure. I'll draw for turn. Stand by main. Oh, that's, all a, good. that's a very interesting card. <sighs> I don't want to do this. Uh, I'm going to switch my uh, Altus to defense, uh, destroying it. Uh, I'm going to special summon Cloudian Storm Dragon by banishing Altus. I'm going to normal summon Altus. I will trigger it for all two. Good. I'll activate sure. Storm Dragon, targeting Altus. going to rip one out. I will take one. Nope. There we go. Uh, how about this one? Never going to get to summon this card. This, I mean, it's tragic. It doesn't matter in the face of Sanctuary in the Sky, but, you know, I'd like to summon it at least once. All right, I'll pass here. Uh, we will draw. Mm -hmm. You know, this card doesn't say Cloudian Storm Fairy. It says Cloudian Storm Dragon. Uh, I think he has a bit of an identity crisis, but I will just pass. All right, standby main. Uh, we're going to normal Acid Cloud. We'll get three here. Uh, I am going to Storm Dragon for a fourth. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll eat your back row. It is a blessing. Sick. I'll go to combat. Uh, we'll eat one of these Pegasi. He'll go to the back row. Second main, I will eat the Pegasi. Pegasi down. All right, back to you. Okay. Uh, let's draw. Okay, we'll go to main. I will... None of this matters. <laughs> like, none of this matters. This is, like, the worst matchup. Uh, I will Crystal Blessing. Uh, sure. Bring back the Pegasus and the Carbuncle. <laughs> this is the only chance I'm gonna get to do this, so I'm just fucking Yo, dropping it. I don't is. care. There he is! <laughs> it's so bad, because I can't do <laughs> anything with this. Literally can't do anything with this. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Yeah, this, uh, is, this so, is not an ideal one. No. Uh... I guess I can summon it in defense, so you have to attack him. Whoa! Uh, I guess that, like, may be relevant. I don't fucking I'm, know. I'm uh, I will <laughs> I will normal summon Amber Mammoth. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, sure. And I will pass, as I can't do any damage to you. Okay, so I have to attack this card? Oh, my you God. You have to attack. Come on. I can't even run in my guys. Uh, I'm going to Storm Dragon onto Acid. What the sure. hell? It went to two? All right, it's at one. Back to you. Oh, okay. All right, we'll draw. That's kind of funny. I guess I'll throw Mammoth to defense. <laughs> Go ahead, buddy. Oh, we're getting there. We are getting there. Any moment now. Uh, I will switch Haman to attack. Oh, God. Yeah? Go to battle. Yes. I will attempt to hit Acid Cloud. No response to this. Uh, attack declaration. I will MST your field spell. I will activate Spirit Barrier. I figured that was going to happen, but I had to fucking try. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead. <laughs> Okay, standby main. 
All right. Well, All good. We have we now have an opportunity to premature burial. I'll go sure. get my Sangan. Uh, battle phase. I'll walk the Sangan in. No damage. Yep. Uh, and then I'll trigger the Sangan. We'll go get Zero Stratus. And that's how you out this card. You uh, think they would have made these things a little bit more difficult to kill? You would think so. Second main. I'm gonna normal summon Zero Stratus. Uh, we'll get there. It is four counters. <laughs> Jesus. Pretty good. Uh, I will uh, remove two. Uh, we will pop Hamon. No! That's fine. Uh, I'll remove two. We will pop Amber Mammoth. Uh, I'll remove two. We will pop Amber Mammoth. And then I'll Storm Dragon the Zero Stratus to one. Sure. Uh, I'll set one card. Back to you. We'll draw. Oh, perfect. Best card of my deck. Uh, I will set one and throw to you. Stand by main. Uh, I will Storm the Zero Stratus. Remove them. We'll hit the back row. It is Marshmallow. Sick. Uh, I guess that we are doing damage now. Uh, I'm going to normal summon Mother Grizzly and go to combat. 13. Crystal Pegasus goes to the back row here. Beep, 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 So what is this? 1,900, 500, <laughs> and 1,400. Yes. All right. Back to you. Wasn't even half my life. Insane. Uh, okay. Main phase one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think summoning that Haman actually, like, fucked me. <laughs> Go ahead. Stand by main. Oh, thank yep. the good lord above. Uh, Storm Dragon onto Acid Cloud. Cloudy and Squall. Ah, there it is. All right, back to you. Okay, I will draw. I'm going to normal summon Emerald Tortoise. Sure. I will go to battle. I will crash yep. Tortoise into your Zero Stratus. You're an eagle short, buddy. Yep, take your three. I'll take three. This goes to the back row. Yeah. Okay, main two. And you think how I want to do this now. I'm going to go ahead and crystal beacon. That's fine. Uh, with the beacon, I'm going to special summon a carbuncle. That's okay. Oh, Car okay. Carbuncle effect. Still with you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and summon everything because I have to. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to put... Uh, I don't know if I want to leave Pegasus in attack and honestly, you can crash Grizzly. I guess I'll put them both in defense. Sure. Uh, then trigger the Pegasus on summon. I'm going to throw a Topaz Tiger into the back row. Then I am going to pass my turn. Go ahead. <laughs> Still an eagle short. All right, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, mine gets counters too. Seven, That's eight. right. I'll immediately remove your counters for uh, Altus effect. Okay. Right. Going to rip one out. Yep. Let's grab this one. It was Crystal Abundance. We don't think we're ever activating oh, that. Oh boy, one. that's the that's the horrifying one. <laughs> Go one, two, three. We'll do it again. It's rare value. Okay. I will Storm Dragon to put one on Zero Stratus. Pop the Zero Stratus to crack the Emerald Tortoise. Tortoise is down. Uh, we'll go. I'm gonna go Mother Grizzly into the unknown was spirit reaper okay well um let's go altus into pegasus storm dragon into carbuncle load it up second main i'll remove to pop the carbuncle and we're not loaded up back to you anyone's game right oh that would have been sick if you didn't pop the carbuncle oh, but here go. we are yeah that would have been nice um i hate how the effect to summon a crystal beast is when you're at five <laughs> right like that should be like the three effect not the five effect but i guess they just want you to win the game by that point yeah uh well this isn't looking good i will pass the turn <laughs> stand by main uh let's get all a these bunch tokens. of counters i will activate the sanctuary in the sky would you care to Excellent. let it resolve uh that's fine oh okay get him out of here <laughs> I mean, you have spirit barrier anyway, so like, <laughs> it's not like it matters. All right, uh, I'll storm dragon for zero. I'll pop the spirit reaper, and we'll try to get in for lethal. Ah, uh, that's gonna be game. Oh, uh, there was... abundance was the lifeline, but there was like no real way to do it. Uh, I was just hoping if I went with uh, the crystal blessing. No, it's not blessing. It's the beacon. Like beacon, summon carbuckle, which you get a bunch of guys, and then hopefully you kill them, and then I can abundance. But yeah. A uh, uh, lot of hoops to jump through for that. And then Rainbow Dragon could have maybe, you know, done something. But I, I was like, we it. actually were one Cobalt uh, Falcon away from Rainbow Dragon. But it's, we so hard. it's so hard to land any of your big dumb win cons with Altless on field. This card is so stupid. Like, this yeah. deck has everything it needs. It has monster removal, spell trap removal. It has hand looping. It's just missing, like, a consistent way to get counters on the field without minusing yourself. Squall is so slow. 
and it's missing like a win con. I'm playing one Nimbus Man, which is one of the worst fucking cards ever printed. Just <laughs> he looks very funny one. though. <laughs> he does look hilarious. You can tribute any number of water monsters for him. He gets a fog counter for each water monster. And he gets 500 for each fog counter on the field. So if you are way ahead on board and you have found Squall, he will have a lot of attack points. But you may recognize if you're way ahead on board and you have Squall, the game is over. You don't need to right. keep playing. It's like it's like an aggro card in like a control deck. Like, right. it's, like I guess you could maybe argue that that could be like a win con to like actually close out the game. But mm -hmm. like you don't even need it because your little guys eventually are just going to get in like they did with this game. Right. So. Uh. Well, uh, buddy, good games. I'm going to be stuck in the jank tank again. Shocker, right? No one would have seen that coming. But, well, yeah, these, we tried. These decks are so bad. I, I know. This is awful. I love uh, Crystal Beast. I think it did get, like, one, like, top in quotation marks during this period. Uh, but it's basically on the back of, like, Abundance is really good and people don't play around it. Pegasus, Carbuncle, and Rainbow Ruins are strong. But then there's the rest of the deck. And there's just so, nothing else you can do with this strategy until, like, Xyz come out. The way to play Crystal Beasts is to cut every bad card in the archetype, which yep. is nearly all of them. Yep. Uh, a modern competitive Crystal Beast deck around this time would consist of, like, Pegasus, Tiger, Carbuncle, mm -hmm. and, like, that's it. And, like, the rest of the cards in your deck are just, like, staples and, like, the good Crystal Beast cards. Like, you might play one Abundance just for the blowout, but mm -hmm. then you play, like, Promise, so you can actually just start triggering things. You'll play things like, uh, maybe, like, one Blessing or, like, one Beacon, but Promise is also quite good. Mm -hmm. And then you're just also playing other good stuff cards in here as well. Like, you saw this deck playing Jinzo, playing Spirit Reaper, playing Marshmallow then you actually have the bones of something that can stand up to something more competitive because you're not polluting your deck with, look at how many cards that just did absolutely nothing for me this game. Mm -hmm. Like, rare value is so hard to resolve. The fucking Dragon Queen never summoned. I summoned Haman, but it was actually probably the most suboptimal play because then I actually turned off all my Crystal Beast cards, right? Mm -hmm. Just just card after card in the archetype requires way too much setup for you to actually be able to effectively resolve anything. And as a result of that, that's why this archetype just really didn't do that much. The one thing it did succeed at is being very fucking pretty in all <laughs> ultimate rare. <laughs> it, it is, yeah. Oh, man. Well, uh, I think I speak for everyone when I say Konami. Wins are, I, Crystal Beast has gotten some new support recently. Zenith Dragon is crazy strong. It almost makes yep. it a viable inclusion in like Tri Brigade lists because the types line up. Um, where's our Cloudian support? Come on. Come on, Konami. <laughs> where's the new Cloudians? When Storm Dragon came out in Phantom Darkness, it was the happiest day of my life. I was like, this is exactly what we needed. And it was not exactly. We needed a card that said, if you control a Cloudian, you win the game. That shit was not coming. <laughs> You just have to be like pain and start doing the day X until Konami gives us new cloudy and support. Do you right? want to know the worst part? <laughs> I think it actually has not been that long. Uh, there, really? There have been a couple of waves of uh, cloudy and support. And by that, I mean like one or two random cards they snuck into sets. Uh, but they are they are uh, dire. Uh, Dark Neo Storm includes a Cloudian card. Did you know that? Really? Uh, no, I don't think I did. Yeah, here, I'm, I'm looking up right now. It's Cloudian Aerosol. It's a, a normal spell. Okay. Discard a Cloudian. Target a face-up monster on the field. Place fog counters on that target equal to its level. You can banish this card in one Cloudian from your graveyard. Special summon a Cloudian monster from your deck. You can only use one of these two effects per turn and only once that turn. So this wow. is a card that could have come out in the first wave <laughs> and the deck would still be ass. <laughs> I, love, I love how you can only use one or the other. <laughs> that they're afraid that Cloudians are going to become like tier zero if you're allowed to use both of those effects in one turn. It took you a decade to think of that. <laughs> Miserable. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another episode. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons as always. A big shout to Shout1317, Moto Cameron Smith, SJ Winchester, Kadok Meatball, Ian Musa, Team 00 x 3 Ike Iron Fang, Part 2, Pony Stark, Dan the Man, Hoban, Synchro Guy, Ole, Yusuf Asin 05, MBT, Play Medulce, Mystic Walk, I Ship MBT, and Simo, Cole T, Drake, Conic, Rockside, Dolly Wop, Logan, Thomas, Peter Gregory, Thomas, Selson, Jordan Coons, Kelvin, Iron Blades, and Pure Ace, Jesse Wood, Tuner, Guys, and Brother Paul, Chris, Ho, David Liu, Ruxin's Horny Fans, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, John 2 Base, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Day Sir, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Ashlyn Jensen, Give Me 
speed word or give me death. Seriously, guys, please read your cards. TC Gaming, thanks for the sleeves, Dad. Matthew Brady, Max, MBT, Bathwater Vendor, Tom Russell, why read your cards when you can just click buttons? Ban Snatch Shield for Prog 2021. Omar, paint French girls like one of your MBTs. Black Acre, the entire state of Indiana. These cards, we are not the same. You drink flat tummy tea. I drink M Bussy tea. MBT fans scare me more than COVID. Simping for Simo, Abbott YGO, Ethan Steele, and horny bonking MBT fans. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.